This is the last tutorial in this Apple Watch app development section, but don't let this fact mislead you. It is indeed a pretty important one since we will develop a handy feature for this watchOS application. When users tap on the gear button, then a new settings sheet will show up. And in this settings sheet, users can set the maximum number of lines in each row in the list view using a swift UI slider. Besides that, while we are developing this usable feature, we're going to learn how to create a custom binding in the Swift programming language. You should pay attention to this part because not many online video tutorials or traditional articles teach you how to do it properly. And the best part of it, that by the end of this class, our note-taking Apple Watch application will be ready to show up in your portfolio. It sounds a great deal, isn't it? Then let's kick off Xcode and start coding along with me. First things first. Let's create a new file for this new page. Select the view group as its destination, then select the Swift UI view template as I do. Then, give it the name, settings, and save it as usual. Now, we need to replace the welcome message with a new vertical stack container. Enter the following code. VStack Spacing 8 New comment Header New comment Current count number of lines New comment Slider New comment The end of the VStack container With these comments inside the VStack, we predefined the major sections in the layout. After all of this prep work, we will start with the header section. Enter this code. Header view. Title. Settings. It couldn't be effortless to add a new header to this page, am I right? That's the power and beauty of creating reusable components with Swift UI. As far as the next section, we need to create a new line count property to store the current value of the maximum line numbers. So let's do it. Enter this code, please. At. App storage. Line count. Var. Line count. Int. Equals. One. App storage. As you can see the default value of the maximum line number is one. And, by using the line count key in the app storage property wrapper, we can store this value permanently on the Apple Watch. The app storage property wrapper uses the user defaults under the hood, and its major benefit is the following. The app storage automatically reinvokes the view's body property when the line count key changes in user defaults, and it will refresh the user interface immediately. In our case, when users increase or decrease the maximum line number, then the notes app's view will automatically be refreshed with the requested modification. How cool is that? Of course, to make this happen with the use of the slider is not as simple as that, but don't worry because I will show you how to manage it. Current line number. Now, let's continue the work with the second section in the layout, shall we? Our goal is to display the actual line number in the list item. To do that, first, go to the body and enter the following code. Text. Lines. Backslash. Open parenthesis, line count, closed parenthesis, uppercase, font weight, bold, slider. Now it's time to create a new slider. But before doing that, we need to create a new property to store the slider's value. At state private var value float equals 1.0 after that please navigate back to the body and let's enter this code slider value dollar sign value in closed range from 1 to 4 step 1 accent color accent color as you can see in the preview, we have just added a new slider to this settings page. 
However, we need to ignore the fact the preview couldn't display this slider in yellow, which is our custom accent color. Settings sheet. Okie dokie. I think it's time to make the settings view displayed using a sheet. To do that, we need to switch to the detailed view, and let's continue our work there. Here, we will create a new property similar to the credits property. Enter this code. At state private var is settings presented bool equals false after that we will add a new gesture modifier to the gear image scroll down and enter on tap gesture is settings presented dot toggle then let's add a new sheet modifier to this image as well sheet is presented dollar sign is settings presented content settings view testing great job it's time for testing what we have done so far let's build and run the notes app after the launch select a note from the list then tap on the gear button as i show you as you can see, the design and the layout of the settings page is done. Let's see how the slider works, shall we? As you can see, we can increase or decrease the value in a closed range. So far, so good. Now, it's time to develop the logic to make the desired changes in the maximum line number. Update function. The next step is to create a new function that will make this feature work. Enter the following code. New content. Function. Func. Update. Line count. Equals. Int. Value. As you can notice, we assign the line count property with the slider's value. It's as straightforward as it is. We need to figure out how to call this function each time the slider's value changes. To make that happen, we need to modify the slider. More precisely, we need to replace the existing value binding with a new custom binding. I will show you the exact formula for doing that, so you can use it whenever you need to in your programming carrier. Navigate the cursor to the binding in the slider and replace it with this code. Slider Value Binding Open parenthesis get self dot value set open parenthesis new value closed parenthesis in self dot value equals new value and finally self dot update the rest of the slider's code is unchanged. As you can see, we have just created a custom binding with closures that read and write the binding value. On the one hand, the get closure has no parameters, and it returns a value. However, on the other hand, the set closure has the following parameter. New value. This parameter is the new value of the binding value. After we get and set the binding value, we call the update function. This update function will assign the maximum line number with the slider's new value. I hope that could follow my explanation and everything is crystal clear. With this custom binding, we can update the line count, and our feature is done. How fantastic is that? Just one more thing. Maximum line number. We have only one thing that we need to do before we call it a day. Please, open the content view file, and let's create a new property. Enter this code. At. App storage. Line count. Var. Line count. Int. Equals. 1. The notes application must now what is the value of the maximum line number when it launches. That's why we created and initialized a new line count property. After that, the very last thing we need to do is to replace the line limit modifier's static value with this dynamic property. 
So let's do it right now. Line limit. Line count. And that's it. We have just finished developing the Notes app for Apple Watch. But, you know the proverb people saying. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. Testing. That's being said, let's build and run the Notes app either in the simulator or preferable on a real Apple Watch device. After the launch, select a note from the list and tap on the gear button in the detailed view page as I do. Now, on the settings page, we need to set the maximum line number from 1 to a higher value in order to see what will happen on the home page. So let's do that. 2 will be just fine, in my opinion. After that, dismiss the settings sheet by tapping on the cancel button and go back to the home page. If everything goes well, then you should see the result in the notes list. We have just increased the line limit from 1 to 2. How cool is that? What about increasing this value even more? Let's try it out. Can you notice any glitches in how this feature works? It works as it is supposed to do. Did you enjoy the whole process while developing this notes application? If your answer is yes, then I have some good news for you. This project was just the beginning of Apple Watch app development. More watchOS projects with interesting topics will be added to this course. And, if this is something that you want to learn, then keep watching. Until then, enjoy the learning process and happy coding.